Look, Mommy, you owe me $25. I need my money pronto, Mommy. Give me my money pronto. Welcome back to People Be Like. I'm William Haynes. This is the show where I talk about things going on in the world, whether that be pop culture or politics. I'm going to put my mouth on it. I saw your comments. You guys wanted this back. So if we get a good response, we'll keep doing it and more. Hit that like button, comment. Let me know what you think. Everybody's talking about the mannequin challenge and I don't have enough friends or the right to copywritten music to do it. So I got to do it on my own with my own legally owned music. Remember when you were a kid and you turned on Disney Channel and right before your favorite show came on, they show your favorite Disney Channel star waving that magic stick and saying stuff and laughing? Well, Twitter user Tulo Savivo, I can't say that, has been uploading the raw footage and it's so awkward. Hey, I'm Hilary Duff from Lizzie McGuire and you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> Good job. Cut. Cut wow, it's like these kids were forced and paid thousands of dollars to say one line over and over again, but it's frustrating. I could have done that. Real up, of energy. And action. Hi, I'm William from that. Hi, I'm William Haynes from That's So Raven, and you're watching Disney Channel. Very good. One more time. Hi, I'm William Haynes from That's So Raven, and you're watching Disney Channel. Good, a little bit faster. Hi. I'm William Haynes from That's So Raven. One more time. Hi, I'm William Haynes. Do better. <laughs> okay, look, I might get some flack for this, but Ellen is the new Oprah. <laughs> Ellen has her own YouTube, ellentube.com. Videos on there get millions of views. For instance, Ellen and Adele's ear, seven million views. Watch me whip Nene, father and daughter, four million views. Magic Mike. XXL trailer, 3 million views. Damn, she's on brand. It makes sense that she'd be successful even on another website. Ellen is brilliant. Also, as of June 2016, her YouTube channel for The Ellen DeGeneres Show has become the 14th most subscribed on the platform. So at that point, you might as well go make millions on your own website too. Plus, when she signed on Tyler Oakley, the cat's in the bag. Social media stars have taken over celebrity culture. For instance, when Kendall Jenner went on Ellen and explained why she quit Instagram. So crazy to me that it even became huge news like that. But I took the app off my phone. I, did, I honestly didn't even think anyone would care. And they started sending me links to like CNN and all these things, and I was like, why is this even this big of a deal? If I quit Instagram, would anybody give a damn? Honestly, the only way I'd be on CNN is if I deleted their Instagram or messed up Anderson Cooper's hair when he wasn't looking, which I really want to do. It sucks that she quits though because I really like the page Kirby Jenner, where this guy photoshops himself into photos of Kendall and Kylie seamlessly. So she said she deleted her page because she wanted to detox from it. Look, I get it. Basically, she's saying she's tired of checking Instagram on her morning poop like everybody else. I've learned that although it does help stimulate your brain in the early morning, nothing's more stimulating than breathing and focusing. So I'm with her. I'm deleting my page too. All right, guys, I'm gonna delete this. No, Will. What if you become irrelevant? Delete it, Will. Delete that page. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can't do it. Wow, chickened out. <laughs> Stupid. By now you know that here in America, our president-elect is Donald Trump. When a new person becomes president, they have to rehire the entire staff of the White House. It's okay if you didn't know that, because neither did he. Someone he extended an invitation to be in his cabinet was Dr. Ben Carson. He also ran for president unsuccessfully. One of my favorite lines of his campaign was, can somebody attack me, please? I promised Governor Kasich he could respond. Can somebody attack me, please? Okay, here, here, here Wolf. <laughs> Relatable. First off, you're asleep on stage. It's hard to have a personal agenda against someone who doesn't have one of their own. If you don't know anything about him, he's a retired neurosurgeon and is actually the first person to split Siamese twins. To his defense, he must have a few things in his brain up there. Not anybody can get a degree unless you have $200,000. Jimmy Kimmel has sleep apnea and he's one of the best late night talk show hosts out there right now. But Carson recently declined Trump's offer with his business manager stating, Dr. Carson feels he has no government experience. He's never run a federal agency. The last thing he would want to do was take a position that could cripple the presidency. Then why were you up there at the debates? Oh, I get it. Some people have trouble sleeping at night, so they need atmosphere. I get it. I could fall asleep in a Chuck E. Cheese. No bet? Look, 
Politics is strange and so similar to the entertainment industry sometimes. I honestly feel like it's getting to a point where our government might be in the wrong hands. Honestly, we have too many baby boomers in office. We honestly need millennials. And we're taking that word back, by the way. If you are a millennial and you watch the show, don't let anyone use that term to condescend you. I'm proud to be born in the 90s. I believe that we can make a positive change. Um, you know who else is a millennial? Mark Zuckerberg, genius, billionaire, father, philanthropist. Malala Yousafzai, a 15 year old who stood up to radical terrorists who shot her because they don't believe women should get education. She's now an educational activist and the youngest person to ever be nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. Boyan Slat, a 22 year old who created a barrier system he designed to remove and collect trash out of the Pacific Ocean without disrupting marine life. And finally, Adele. For the next time somebody uses the word millennial in a negative way, remind them that millennials are dope. Plus, the future president of the United States loves you. Young people, I love you. Yeah. What's your biggest issue with minorities right now? <laughs> None. In the meantime, this is People Be Like. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for four new videos a week. Do you think Ellen is the new Oprah? What would your friends do if you deleted your social media accounts? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm William Hanks.